Greeting, greeting. This is Marco. We're going to be looking at Google Jamboard and see how best we can actually, how we can use Google Jamboard. What is the purpose of Google Jamboard? Is it possible that we can email it to somebody? Well, we're going to see exactly how that works, right? I will be guiding you through that particular process. So let us get started. All right, so the first thing that we wanted to do is to open the internet browser. All right, as you can see right here, it's in my taskbar. So the next thing that I wanted to do definitely is to come right here and to sign in. So I have to click right here to sign in. So when I click right here to sign in, then it would actually take me to an particular window in which I can actually obtain. Right, I'm going to go right back and I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to look for Jamboard. Let's scroll down. The time and scroll down. Let's go too fast. You might not might fly past it. There you go. And this is a Google Jamboard. So you're going to click on the Jamboard. When you click on the Jamboard, as I said, you notice know, these are some previous. If you don't sign in, it's a show that you've signed in. But now I'm already signing. So this is from some previous Jamboard and all of that, which actually created before. So you notice right up here. Your Google Jamboard signal you can actually search previous. But thing about it, I want to create a new one. Where do I go? All right, if I come right to the right, you know, this is in this plus right here. When you click on this particular plus to open of the Jamboard immediately to the left, notice right here, show the name. Notice up here, show that you can actually see the Jamboard. But this is a, it's the surface in which we actually import. All right, fine. This show that I can clear frame. Can set background. It's so that they can actually redo and undo. They can actually increase it. If you come right here, know that so you have pen. It give you an eraser that they can actually erase stuff. You notice right here, it give you a mouse pointer. And if you come right here, give you a sticky note. You can put note here. You can actually insert image. You can actually just surface here. And you can also insert text. All right. So let us get started. First, we want to click with pen. Once you click the pen, you notice we start to write just like that. So now we want the eraser that's going to come here. We're going to use the eraser. We're going to put everything right here. Right, so it's very important. Use the eraser and try to erase it out here. Use the eraser to erase it out. Now we actually use that. I'm going to come here to the sticky note. Notice you come right here to the sticky note. You notice it have this yellow color, but if I come right here at the top, I can actually change the color of the sticky note to any color I want. Just like so I'm going to write something. So here, give me the chance to write something. And let me go and write now here. Well, right. welcome to young boy. Um, Board. Right, now when you finish, you can come right here and save it. I can click. When I click that, notice it's still there. So I can click this and finish it. You notice the jump board right here. If I click on it, you notice the cursor or look, I can actually come like this and move it. But if I put the cursor at the end like this, I can actually extend it. So I can cursor right here, I can actually rotate it like that. If I can the screen for that and click, sure that I can edit it. I can duplicate it, but I can delete it. If I click on duplicate, this is what you have to happen. Just to see. So we can actually duplicate it and all that. So we can come to this end and actually tear it down. Right? I can actually write information inside of this student or maybe anybody else. They want to insert a photo now. So we're going to click right here. You notice when you click the photo, it takes us to upload by URL camera. Google Image, Google Drive, and Google Photo. But here is where I can drag, but I'm going to browse. It will just going to take me directly to my desktop. Right? And then while we go to desktop, we're going to select something into our desktop. So I click on this photo here. Then I can click on Open. So while we're going to click on Open, we're going to click right here. Then we click on this drive, and then we're going to click Open right here. Right, if you notice here, here we go with the chart. If you notice right here, you can actually move it. Notice here, 
that should have taken like a road tea to just to see we can actually size it up and commute it really for that. You can duplicate it, you can delete it. If you know what is right here, you can order by send it back, the back and all that. So now we show that you can actually retain some more just like that. The next thing you want to do you now, we're going to go right here to do a circle. You notice it plus from right here. For me, I just start to draw the circle so far. So let me kind of scroll up a little. But this is circle, the circle, it's very circle that I can actually move out so far. This circle now, so if you notice, if I come right up here, I click on the pencil, right? Sure that if I click here, notice, we are around the circle, color change. If I come right here, this little cup and I click, and I click this, notice inside of the circle change. So we can do all of that with this particular circle here. So here we want to write a fixed circle right here now. Write that. And we can say greetings. Just like that. We can just say greetings like that. Like that. And we can actually move it out like that. You can actually rotate it, you can get it on and it's very important, right? And if you already do all of this information, you want to change the background, you can come right here. You want to right click, not the background, and try to get a different color. Go back to the background again, you can put a different color, like that. Good. So what if you want to email it? You can come right here, right here, share, and you click, right? What you going to ask me to save? Right, so here you can actually put in the email address so I can copy the link and send it and then press done. Right, so very important. Right, so we'll get learn something from this particular video. So very important. 